seriously on Hell's Kitchen. Kimberly, here's your daughter, Apollonia. Oh, my God. Oh, my. She's been my little lady. I love her. Chef Ramsay surprised the final I six with her. their loved ones. Probably the greatest feeling in the world right now. As soon as their family visits were over. Tell him what mommy needs. Black a black jacket. A black jacket, okay. <laughs> Chef Ramsay began a series of tests which would determine which five of the remaining six chefs would be getting black jackets. One, two, three. In the first of three tests, each chef had to select random ingredients on the spot and then make a dish that would impress Chef Ramsay. We are just out for blood. Pull this one out, black jackets, right? Heidi's duck breast with sweet potato puree. Cooked perfection, good Thank job. You, chef. And Heather's French chicken breast with rice and broccoli. Chicken's nailed, Thank great you, job. Chef. Earned them the first Thank two black jackets <laughs> and a key to the black jacket lounge. Oh my God! <laughs> oh, this is so cool. In the second challenge. Bring in the lock cases. The four remaining chefs were delivered the exact same ingredients and were tasked with making their dishes stand out. What the fuck to do with this eggplant? Andrew failed with his eggplant. How bitter was that? The finish is very bitter. Kimberly burnt hers and tried to hide it in her puree. Weird texture of the purees. That's one way to do it. Just put the whole dish in a blender and make baby food. While Polly. That looks amazing. And Ryan. Fantastic. Thank you, Thank you. Impressed and earned their black Thank jackets you. and keys to the lounge. Oh, the day! With only one black jacket left, Kimberly and Andrew cooked for their lives in the third and final challenge. The pressure is on, and it's not going to be coming off until I have that black jacket. 30 seconds. Kim, I'm sorry, but it's time for you to go home, hon. Kimberly made a filet. Filet's nails. With a side of asparagus. Asparagus, just a little bit bland. And Andrew made a New York strip. Perfect. Over a potato puree. Slightly gloopy. When Chef Ramsay put the decision in the hands of the new Black Jacket Brigade. They did not know who cooked which dish. Heidi and Ryan chose Andrew's strip. Andrew's strip, chef. But Andrew's love interest, Heather. It was Kimberly's. And best buddy, Polly. It was the filet. Both chose Kimberly's dish, creating a tie. I give you the vote, you give it back to me. Which Chef Ramsay had to break. Kimberly. Ending Andrew's dream of becoming head chef at Yardbird Southern Table and Bar at the Venetian in Las Vegas. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Get out of here. Well done. Thank you, Thank chef. You. Thank you. Good job. I feel great. You like the filet? I did. It was, it was really good. I am like just living in such a surreal moment. Oh! <laughs> Do we really get the drink? I never thought I would make it this far. Yes! And I'm not here because I have great hair and a, and a nice smile. You know, I'm here because I can actually cook. Yay. Fuck! I hate that fucking bitch, Kim. She doesn't deserve to be here. Hey, in a blind taste test, you said her protein was better than... It was me who sent him home. I just wanted Andrew to be here with me, man. You can't be upset in a competition where there can only really be one winner. You know, him and Andrew couldn't have won this whole entire thing, so, you know, he just needs to get over it really quick. I let my boy down. That sucks. Hurry up! Chef Ramsay in the dining room, I see the Venetian set up right behind him, and I got so excited. I have just four people in my way from winning this thing, and I just want to shine. First of all, one of you 
is going to become the next head chef at Yardbird at the Venetian in Las Vegas. So today, I thought I'd bring a little bit of Vegas into Hell's Kitchen. Awesome. Right now, I'd like all of you to have a little seat at my table. Let's Good go. Chef. Paulie there, Heather, Ryan, Heidi, and Kimberly. Thank you. I am a card shark. I like to keep that on the down low so that I can come in all inconspicuous like and then take everybody's money. Uh, right, who's played poker before? I have, Jeff. <laughs> I'm all in. <laughs> Excited? Yes, yes, Chef. Good. Listen carefully, here's how it's going to work. Each of you are going to get six ingredients to make one stunning dish. I'm going to get you all started with three ingredients that you all need to use across that dish. Now, your first card is chicken. Next, potatoes. OK. This is a lovely one. Smoked bacon. Ooh, nice. nice. I knocked that chicken out of the park yesterday, got into this black coat. You guys don't stand a fucking chance next to me. Now, each of you is going to require three more ingredients. I'm going to reveal one ingredient at a time. If you want it, hit your buzzer. Got it? Yes, Chef. Yes, chef. Once you have six, you're done. Are we ready? Yes, Chef. Yes, chef. chef. And the first ingredient is carrots. Wow, Heidi, that's yours. Thank you. Good. Green beans. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow, Paulie, that's Paulie. you. Next ingredient is? I feel like I'm on a game show right now. Like garlic. Oh. Wow. Just hitting the buzzer, hitting the buzzer, hitting the buzzer. Swiss chard. Oh, Heidi. Damn it, Heidi. I wanted that Swiss chard. I could have cooked it better than you. What came first, the chicken or the egg? Oh, Heather. Mushrooms. Oh. Well yeah. done. Ryan, nothing. I'm trying to. I feel like I'm in slow motion here, and everybody else is like, boop, peas. Wow, Heather. <laughs> Begins. <laughs> Morning, what was that? Tap a tap. Just a little tap a -roo. Wow. Ryan, still no ingredients. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is starting to get a little bit uh, nerve-wracking. I'm going to get stuck with something ridiculous. Breadcrumbs. Oh, OK. It's a start. Next one. Dijon mustard. Shit. Wow. <laughs> Dijon, black garlic, and mushrooms. Kimberly is done. Spinach. Wow. Ryan, well done. Pecorino cheese. No. Cheese, eggs, peas. Heather, you're out. White wine. White wine, yes. Paulie. Damn it. You are done. Paulie, white wine, green beans, and pecans. Ryan and Heidi, vinyl two. Perfect. <laughs> leeks. Oh, I'll take the leeks. Ryan. <laughs> Breadcrumbs, spinach, leeks. These are the cards I have been dealt, literally. <laughs> Lady Luck is not on my side. Heidi, the next card is yours. It's mine, OK. Lemon. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. It's yeah, what we wanted. Baby. It's yeah. what we wanted. You go, girl. You fucking juice that lemon. That's what I wanted. So Swiss chard, carrots, lemons. I've never seen anyone so excited for a yes. lemon. <laughs> are you ready? Yes, yeah. chef. You'll all have 30 minutes. Your time starts now. Let's go, guys. Let's okay. go. 30 minutes is nothing. I take craps longer than 30 minutes sometimes, let alone make an entire composed dish for Chef Ramsay here in Hell's Kitchen in a black jacket. Anybody have cayenne? Yeah. No. Anybody? The purple potatoes, cayenne? I red bliss and finger Anybody? the pecorino, so I'm going to do a medley nope. with that with the bacon. Cayenne pepper, anybody? No? I haven't seen it, Polly. There's a weird vibe in the kitchen today. We used to help each other during challenges, and today we're out for ourselves. I need some space here, girlfriend. Uh oh, sorry, that's all right. This is oh, not a team challenge. You know, we're all out for blood. It's getting real crowded. Yeah, I know. Just under 15 minutes to go. Yes, yes chef. chef. Oops, sorry. Sorry. Right. Kim behind you, okay? I got Ryan right next to me. I'm right there. Heather's right there. Heidi's right there. Coming. Oh, sorry, Heather. No, you're fine. Sorry, sorry, Heather. Coming down. Get the fuck out of my way. Two minutes to go. Yes, Chef. I want to see some finesse on those plates as well, yes? Yes, Chef. Coming down, guys. Behind, guys, in between. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Coming down. 5, 4, 3, 2, Come on, Heidi. 1, and play. Right, to help me judge this very important challenge, I've invited a very special guest. She was named by Food & Wine magazines as one of the best new chefs. She is the executive chef and owner of two of Portland's best restaurants, the Sunshine Tavern and Lincoln. Please welcome Chef Jen Lewis. Jen, welcome, my darling. 
Thanks so much. It's good to see you. Great to see you as well. Thank you so much for coming. You look great. It's nerve-wracking to always cook for a new chef, but I see this cute little lady walk in. She's petite. She has a cool haircut. I'm like, okay, you know, maybe she's not going to be too hard. Now, chefs to my left is what we call the leader's chair. If Chef Lewis and myself love your dish, you'll take a seat in that chair. Now, that seat is yours unless Chef and I like a dish better than yours. Therefore, the one that sits in the leader's chair at the end of the challenge is the winner. Got it? Yes, yes Chef. Right, let's start off with Kimberly. Let's go. Kimberly starts off the Play Your Hand Ingredient Challenge with a pan-seared chicken with a Dijon crust and red smashed potatoes. The chicken is moist, Thank really you. tender. Thank you. And I can taste a little bit of Dijon, but it's not overwhelming. It's a delicious dish. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah, great job. Um, good job, great start. Thanks, and chef. take your place Thank in you, the chef. hero chair. <sighs> Next up, to knock you off your perch, Paulie. Polly has prepared a pecan crusted breast of chicken over potato puree with white wine and bacon sauteed green beans. You've got all your elements seasoned beautifully. The salt is great on it. Thank you, Chef. Very good dish. Why look so surprised? I'm not surprised. I'm learning from a master. You have taught me a lot, and I'm trying to implement all the changes that you've taught me. Hey, Polly, uh, you want to get your fucking nose out of Chef Ramsay's ass? Um, chef, the big question is is Paulie's chicken dish better than Kimberly's? I think it is. Well, no well worries. Done, Take a spot. Thank you, Next chef. up, <laughs> Heidi. Let's go. With Polly perched on the throne, Heidi steps up with her bone in chicken featuring a purple and chive mashed potato puree and a carrot and tarragon puree and Swiss chard sauteed in bacon. Some lemon in there. Yes. That's delicious. Yeah, thank you. I think it's a really nice dish and um, maybe a little bit busy as far as okay. a dish. It seems like there's one element too many. Okay. Heidi's dish looks a little bit ridiculous. It just kind of looks like some blobs. Sorry, Heidi. I'm not sorry. Uh, Polly's dish has a little more cohesiveness to it um, compared to yours. It wasn't good enough to beat Polly. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Chef. Next up, Ryan, please. Let's go. With Heidi's dish failing to dethrone Polly, Ryan looks to take over with her breadcrumb crusted chicken served on a bed of potatoes, spinach, leeks, and bacon. It's very well seasoned. Chicken's on the verge of being slightly dry for me. Yeah, I agree. Is Ryan's dish better than Polly's? It's not better than Polly's. No. Polly's bringing it right now. He is bringing it right now. <laughs> I want to go sit in that chair, but I just blew it. Right, one chef left to dethrone Polly. I beat everybody else so far. Just one more person. I got this in the bag. Heather, let's go. With Polly sitting pretty, Heather hopes to bring him down with her rustic egg and pecorino cheese crusted chicken breast paired with potatoes and peas. Visually, it's beautiful. It's really simple. I like the peas. That's fun. Polly, don't get comfortable. Thanks for warming up my chair, bro. It's really flavorful. Wow. Delicious, mm -hmm. rustic, charming. So, Heather, <laughs> or Paulie's? <laughs> it's on you. <laughs> you guys are seasoning really well. That's a hard thing. Two very good dishes. I think I'm going to go with Heather. Thank you. Wow. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you so much, yeah. Jeff. I won the first black jacket challenge. Ah, oh, it's amazing. Bye, Polly. Get off my fucking chair. Heather. I should have won that challenge. There's no way that Heather beat me. Ah, such is my life. Amazing feedback. Thank you. All of you join me in thanking uh, Chef, Thank please. Thank you very much, Chef. Thanks so much. Great job, you guys. Thank you very much. Heather, for winning the first individual black jacket challenge, you're about to receive the royal treatment in Las Vegas. Oh my god! <laughs> yes. Oh my god! I've never been to Las Vegas. Shit just got real. You will be brought straight to the Venetian Hotel where they have set aside the presidential suite for Holy you shit. tonight. <laughs> Not only is it 7,000 square foot in size, it's like four of my houses. I know. But it comes with its own butler. You oh bitch. my god. <laughs> Well done. Thank you very much. Oh my God, this is not happening. This is not real life. As for the rest of you, today in Hell's Kitchen is recycling day. Oh God. The dumpsters are actually filled to the brim. I want all the garbage taken out, separated for compost, recycling, and trash. That sucks. I've never been to Las Vegas. Who wants to get in a dumpster? Heather, since this day in Vegas is so amazing, it should not be experienced alone. So you may select right now oh one chef to join you. 
Look at Kimberly's face. Wow. I don't want to. Look I at you all. Wanna. Heather promised that if she won, she was going to take me on her trip. Holy shit. I'm going to have to pick this person because I respect her as a chef. So I'm going to have to go with Heidi. Yes. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Heather, what the fuck? I thought we had a deal. I've got it. Yes. Yes. Heidi is my biggest competitor. You've got to keep your friends close and your enemies closer. You've got a lot of work to do. Let's go. Here you go. Oh, I could be going to Vegas. Nope. Instead, we're doing this. <laughs> I hate my life. I want to go home. <laughs> Today is recycling day, so I get to pick through trash once again. This is going to suck. <sighs> Let's go. Disgusting. Hold on, hold on. This smells like straight up poop. <laughs> oh, great rain. This is the most disgusting thing ever. Oh, it's just my luck. I was one win away from being in Vegas. This is bathroom shit. That's gross. And now I'm sifting through garbage in the rain. <sighs> I feel like a sewer rat, just like covered in just disgusting schmegma. So at least now I know that if I win a challenge next, it's going to be you guys that I'm <laughs> picking. Definitely not Heather. I thought Heather was going to pick me to go to Vegas with her. But now we know that Heather's kind of shady. What a liar. Yeah, that's bullshit. It just shows her character now, so. I really want to smack a bitch. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> Vegas. Oh, popping bottles. Heather and Heidi are going to fucking tear Vegas up. This oh is amazing. <laughs> oh, this is gorgeous. Yes. Oh, my God, I love it. Here we go, ladies. Yeah. We're ready for this. We are ready. Our gondolier is so hot. They call me the king of the canal. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> his singing and his humor is, is just so sexy. It's Vegas, baby. It's, it's how Vegas, we call it. baby. Good evening. Oh oh my God. Welcome to your presidential. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. Never in my wildest dreams could I picture a suite looking like this. There's four bedrooms. Oh my god! <laughs> Whoa, there's a TV in the shower. Like eight bathrooms. You can have eight people shitting at the same time. This is amazing. Are you our butler? Yes, I will. Okay, can I call you Jeeves? <laughs> I could definitely get used to being greeted by a butler. This is fucking Amazing. <laughs> no. I <love> you. <laughs> I'd like to invite you to the bathroom for a toast of champagne. Yes! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Heidi. Oh my god. We are on the top right now, Heather. The view from the balcony is unlike anything else I've ever seen. This is incredible. Beautiful, Heather. Thank you, you so much. You are so welcome. I am so <laughs> in debt to you so much. It's so nice to get out of Hell's Kitchen just for a little bit and just have a night where we can just enjoy the view and each other's company and not worry about the competition. Hey, one of us is going to be hiring the other. Okay. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wow. This is beautiful. I'll just take a little saucepan, just a little bermonte, drop it real fast. Perfect, guys. Vegas bitches! <laughs> I know a lot of people are pissed off about yesterday because I didn't pick them. At the end of the day, Heidi and I are an alliance, and the other three, you guys don't stand a chance. Game time. We're here to finish strong. Good afternoon. Line up. Good afternoon, Chef. Paulie, line up, please. Heather, welcome back. Man. Wow. Tonight, you are all one unique team for the very first time. But tonight, Andy and Aaron are taking the night off. You're all going to take a turn as a sous chef. Awesome. Get on your assigned stations. Yes, yeah, chef. Mourinho. Sous chef. Open house kitchen, please. Let's go. go. Once again, Hell's Kitchen is the place to be in Los Angeles. But tonight, 
the entire dining room will be fed out of one kitchen, staffed by the Black Jackets. Welcome to Hell's Kitchen. Thank you. Thank you. Buonasera. Hi, Polly. How are you? Nice, Marino. To, see nice you. to meet you. I'm going to go with the carbonara. Seabass, the lamb. Tonight, each of the final five chefs will take a turn working at Chef Ramsay's side as his sous chef. We're going to rock this shit, right? I'm, this is exciting. Everybody ready? We're open, guys. Right, guys here we go. And Chef Ramsay has invited his regular sous chefs, Andy and Aaron, to be his special guests at the chef's table. You look gorgeous, by the way. Thank Welcome. You, you look lovely. How are you? Ah, good. Nice to see you. Welcome, please. Uh, guys, your chef table's arrived, yes? Thank you, chef. chef. It definitely adds a lot of pressure seeing Chef Andy and Chef Aaron at the chef's table. Well, I don't want to fuck this up. Heather. Yeah. Yes, chef. Let's go. You got it, chef. You're now my sous chef. It'd be nice to make your sous chef proud tonight at the chef's table, yeah? Uh, do two nice little risotto first. Let's Heard go. Chef. As a surprise. Let's go. Heard, chef. How many lobster tails do you need swimming right need, now? I uh, need two all day. Come on, guys. I think Heather will do really well. The two small risottos are first how long? First two risottos, I can walk on the first two risottos All for right, Chef well, table. if I can start plating, he can bring the tails. Come on, let's go. Yes, Chef. OK, huh. thank you. Taste them, dip it back in there. It's very springy. So crunchy. It is, it's undercooked. Mm -hmm. It's undercooked. Cook it out a little bit, it's a little crunchy. Hurt, hurt. Oh, man. I can't believe it was undercooked, but I'm not going to let it keep me down or put me down. All I gotta do is throw it back on the stove, get it going, and bring it right back up. Come on, guys, get your shit together. Let's go. Heather, reapproaching. Thank you. Lobster tail. Thank you. Quick as you got the results. Pin better. Thank you. Quick, quick, quick. You got it. John, risotto, please. Chef table up in the window. Yes, thank you. I am proving myself to Chef Ramsay. Thank you. How long on two scallops to carbonara? 30 seconds 30 on seconds hurt. Walking with scallops. I went to Vegas for a reason, and I'm here to stay. Bring okay. that carbonara, let's go. Right behind. Thank you. Hurt. John, you know where you're going, yes? With Heather turning in a solid performance as sous chef. Thank you very much. Go with those, please, John. Appetizers quickly make their way out to the dining room. The flavor is really good. Yeah. On order, four scallops, table 41. Two scallops, two carbonara. Followed by two scallops, two risotto, two carbonara, yes? Yes, yes chef. chef. Heather, back on the appetizers. Thank you. Yes, chef. Uh, Kimberly. Yes, chef. Yeah, you're next on the hot plate. Let's go. Who plate the like risotto, please, down there. Her chef. Taste the risotto first. Yes, chef. I'm very excited. I've been working on my plating techniques, and I feel that this is like the final step I really need to show Chef Ramsay that, you know, I deserve to be the next head chef at the Arbord. Two lobster. She's plating on the wrong plate. Yeah, wrong plate, wrong plate. Scholars, where are they? Polly? I just need a time. So, hey. Oh, man. What does the risotto go in? I guess a small plate now. I'm I sorry, chef. And look at the scallops. Who cooked them? Oh, Polly. I cooked those. Like... I'm going to ask you all to start again, because this is bullshit. Yes, yeah, Chef. I'm going to pull this down. Back, back in the pan. We got it, Chef. I want two more portions of scallops. Hurry, Chef. Are the tails up there? Oh, he has the tails up there. Oh, no. Young man, it's raw. These, these, these lobster tails are fucking shit. Dude, these lobster tails are all fucking raw. I'm putting them in for fucking five minutes. They're still not cooking. Polly is freaking out. He gets mad, and then he screws something up, and then he gets even more mad, and then he screws more stuff up. What the fuck? Polly's Fish Emporium is going to be out of business real quickly here. Come on, quick, then. You know you've you, 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 you got to do this. I need nope. to do it. I can't do it all for yes, you. Yes, Chef. Would you like more of this? Oh, come on, Kimberly. I'm going to walk, OK? Yes, yes, go. OK, going. Risotto behind. Chef, is that an appropriate portion? Come on, Kimberly. You're asking me the most dumbest question. Is that appropriate? What do you think? It's only plating. It's not that hard. But he just instantly stresses me out. Now you're like a fucking irritating fucking ex-girlfriend. what else do these need for garnish? No, up, Kimberly. Up, up, up. Yes, Let's chef. Let's go. Where's the lobster tails? Lobster? No answer. Coming, right now. Carbonara vegetarian, please. No pancetta. Yeah. No pancetta, chef. Where's the scallops? Scallops. Scallops, well. Polly, scallops, please. Where's the scallops? 90 seconds. Take a little look on your shoulder. Fucking idiot. Hey, black jacket. Hey, Heather. Yes, chef. Your risottos with the scallops and the carbonara. The I scallops just for gone scallops. back. Come on. We can't, like, start 
fucking failing already here. Andy, I'm so sorry to interrupt your evening. Cook the scallops for me, please. Hey, all of you, come here. That's fucking now! Sorry, Andy. Hey, it's the now! It's gonna burn. It's gonna fucking burn. I have fucking no idea what the fuck is going on. My big question to you all, who are you guys? You're sending me backwards. Take a minute, get organized, or don't come back in the kitchen. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. All right, listen, yeah. let's just stay with doing right. what we were doing. Yep. We were fine. We okay. were both up okay. on our shit. You guys need to be hey. on me, though, too. All right, listen. Yes, you got you it. and me, Heidi, you okay? You you got just I'm going to drive stick. you. Yes. OK? Thanks, Andy. With sous chef Andy's help, appetizers are once again leaving the kitchen. Wow. Man, this is delicious. Yeah, it really is. You, back on the yes, fucking chef. station. Right, Heather, swap places with the fish, please. Yes, chef. Let's go. Paulie, where are you at? I'm coming to fish. You're on the hot plate, Paulie. I'm on the hot plate, yes, chef. Well, I'm the exec chef at my job, so I'm very comfortable with those calling checks, making sure everything's all right, looking at things. Next order, let's go. Tell them we come back to salmon. One New York strip, one lamb, one sea bass, one Wellington. I've been doing this for a long time, you know? All right, I need two strip, one salmon, one Wellington. No, oh, no, no, no. Excuse me, two salmon, one New York strip, one sea bass, one Wellington. One lamb. One lamb. And I need two, and I need two, two, one lamb, Jeez. two salmon, one strip, one sea bass, one Wellington. This is our this is the order. This is after. I need those two strip, salmon, the vegetarian, those two. Two salmon, one New York strip, one lamb, one Wellington, one sea bass. Yes, chef. That is it. Seriously, Polly? I swear to God, if I could punch him in the fucking throat, I would. Garnish, Ryan. Coming right now, chef. Coming up, lamb. Salmon urgently. Salmon walking behind Ryan. Thank you. Sauce at the same time. Yes, chef. Sorry about that. Service, please. Let's go. On order and fire, Kimberly. And I mean move. Four covers table 11, two scallops, two carbonara. Hey, what's my time on two carbonara and two scallops? I need three minutes on the carbonara. Is three minutes OK with those two scallops? Hello, Heather. Drop your scallops. Where are my scallops? Yeah. They're coming, Polly. All right, walk with the carbonara. Thank Heather. you. I got Walking you. with carbonara. Oh, sorry. Behind, Kim. Right there. Where's the scallops? Okay. Scallops. Oh, come on, Polly. Let's go. Yes, chef. That's just mush. That's overcooked. And the bad thing is that you actually put them on the plate. Uh, young lady, yeah, come over. And you, come here as well. Yes, chef. The reason why the scallops are fucked like that, and the reason why that's all sat there stodgy now, because it's not even moving now, is that you're talking to her, you're not listening. You're dithering. Are they good? Are they bad? And what are they? The shit, chef. I'm sorry. You guys, let's refire. Three minutes. Let's go. Oh, my god, I'm pissed. I look like the fucking asshole. Thank you, Kim. Heather, you know I looked at you when I told you I was dropping my pasta. You know I told you to drop those scallops. Can I have those scallops, please? Yes, Polly. Here. Carbonara? Five seconds, Chef. I'll be walking. Honestly? Here. Coming, coming. Sorry, Chef. Sure. Nice and cooked the scallops. Thank you. Service, please. Thank you. Polly, take over the garnish. Ryan, explain the garnish. Explain what's yes, going chef. on, please. I'm excited. I want to be up there. I want to get this kitchen back up to pace. You're going to want to get that going soon. Got it. For the best. So, Sea Bass Wellington first, right? Yes, chef. Yes, chef. This is my turn. Give me a chance here to get everybody back on the same page. Sea Bass Garnish? How far out of the Bass? Bass, I'm ready. All right, Bass Garnish. I have Welly Garnish rising. Right over here to the left, please. Can I try that, chef? Extra potatoes. Polly, watch out. Sea Bass? Okay. Sea Bass? Yep. Wellington, chef. Cold in the middle. Chef. Heather! It's cold. Yep. There's no room for error. There's no room for fucking up. If I can't get it together, I could be going home tonight. Heather. Yes, Chef. I'm done with you sending me shit. Start the game. I just cut the bullshit. And like I always do, let's flip the ticket. With entrees being stalled, Chef Ramsay is now trying to get the rest of the appetizers out. Away in fire. Two carbonara, two risotto, followed by two scallops, one carbonara, one risotto, yes? It was three and two, I thought you just said, pretty much. No. We're doing two twos at the same time. Oh, my 
John. You're the one getting confused, Kimberly. Yes, chef. Need to push that risotto, Kim. I'm pushing it as fast as I can, guys. Heard. This is terrible. What is going on? Thanks a lot. This is not what I want Chef Ramsay to see from me as far as being a sous chef goes. Carbonara is going with that first risotto. I need four minutes. The risottos are going together, Kim. I feel like quicksand. Just grabbed a hold of my feet, suck me in. I have no air, no light. I'm just numb. How long on carbonara? Kim, you getting close? I'm fucking done. I'm done. Kim, we got to walk together with that carbonara, OK? I need help. I'm fucking lost. This. I'm done. Don't stop. No, Don't stop. Done. You're not you're done. Not you're you're not fine. Done. You're stop fine. It. You're fine. Stop it. Can I help you with any of them? I'm not trying to rush you. I'm really trying to help you. I'll jump on hot apps. I don't give a shit. I want to serve these people that have been waiting for over an hour. Take a breath. You're good. You're good. You're fine. Just Do take a breath. Do not quit on us. Oh, my God. Hey, hey, hey. What are you panicking about? I don't know, Chef. Hey, look at me. Do you want to go home? I don't know, Chef. If you want to start crying, I don't. I've got shit salmon here. I'm not going to hey, cry. Yeah, you're not no. going to cry. No, chef. No. No, I'm not a quitter. And I don't want my daughter to see that mommy just quit and walked away because she got angry. I'm not going to cry. I don't cry. I'm not done. The least I can do is push through, persevere, and do my fucking best. Where's the bass? Bass is coming, chef. Molly, watch out. See you, bass? Okay. Where's the bass garnish? Here's your bass garnish. Fucking raw. Hey, hey, all of you. Hey, all of you, come here. Raw pancetta. Oh, man. I just tasted it. Look at me, look at me, look at me. All of you, all of you, all of you. Get the fuck out of here. Get out. Aaron, Andy, could you do me a favor? Can you just go and put a jacket on, please? Yep, sure. I'm so sorry. Our sous chef's just right there. I am definitely fucking pissed that we got kicked out. I didn't get a turn at the pass, and we are definitely taking steps backwards at this point. Hey, hey, all of you, I've never seen black jackets in such disarray. Two nominees, get out! A fucking embarrassment! What do you guys want to do? Polly, you know, the, obviously, a lot. My Why? proteins were dying. I, I, my fish didn't get, not one fish got sent back. You were delusional, Polly. Not one you fish got sent back. Send back. You had lots of scallops that were coming back. I had lots of scallops that were coming back. You had scallops that were coming back. I've worked with Polly. He's such a crybaby. He will not take, you know, responsibility for his mistakes. Like, grow the fuck up. Listen, I'm the, I'm the only dude ex exactly. That's I knew I knew why, this is. Polly. Of course it is. I was just saying who I was putting up there. Doesn't mean you're going up there, Polly. The other girls could have a different opinion. No, because you're all going to say me. No. All right, who else? Who, who else? I, I, Kim. You know, apps. Just you were distracting him. That's why it, all it's, the garnishes. It's a when I was on, I'm done. I'm done, Polly. Now you're next, and you can say who you have all right, up. I think it's uh, Heather and Kim because Heather kept sending up all shit. My defense, I was just trying to crawl out of a fucking hole that was left for me. That's what I'm saying. Is that's fine. You can so, go with me. Kim. I don't know. Kim, don't feel bad about whoever you nominate. But we all. No one, you know what I mean? Which had the biggest wrench in the engine room, basically. It was Polly. All right, so me, me and who else? I'm not putting myself up. You can say me, I don't care. Only because you had. That's the it. I'll put up it. Heather and Polly. Right, Heather, what do you right. think? Polly, because you've been a complete clusterfuck all, all day. Right. Okay. And then, all right, and then you, Ryan? Polly, to send up sea bass garnish with raw pancetta, I mean, that that's basically what fucking sent us out. All right, whatever. Of course, none of the girls did anything wrong. These girls are such shysty cunts. You got four girls, one dude. I'm going to be the odd man out. They're going to put me up. There's nepotism, you know, and that's that's the bottom line. The only guy, the only guy here. No, that is not it. Do of not even act like you had a perfect service. Don't Nobody even act did. like it. Nobody did. Nobody did. I'm not putting you up because you're a guy. That's fucking bullshit right now. I'm not saying I don't deserve to be up there, but it's just funny how everybody else. But, but you're saying it, the reason why you're up there is because you're the only guy left. There is no truth that we're singling out Polly because he's a guy. That, that's fucking bullshit. I don't play that card. He's just grasping at straws right now. What, if, if I stay tomorrow, I'll be the first, I'll be a unanimous decision also. I uh, know. Oh, okay. So you don't get to go up because you thought that you know we were I'm gonna not, vote you up because you're a guy. That's am I fucking fighting bullshit. This? She fucked up. She fucked up. But I'm the one. I'm the unanimous decision. Because you you fucked up the most. After 
one of the worst black jacket dinner services in the history of Hell's Kitchen. Chef Ramsey is ready to hear which two chefs have been nominated for elimination. Have you reached the consensus? Yes, yes chef. chef. Good. Ryan, first nominee and why? Chef, our first nominee is Kimberly. She just seemed to kind of break down a little bit. Second nominee and why? Our second nominee is Paulie. He seemed to be fighting against us more than letting us help him and be on the same page. Paulie, Kimberly, step forward. Uh, Kimberly, a very important question for you. Have you peaked? Absolutely not. I've just started growing. I just started learning. Um, I haven't had years of culinary school behind me. I'm impressed with how fast I've been able to learn, but I'm still a sponge. I'm definitely not done. The reason why I ask is that you had that frozen moment. I need help. I'm fucking lost. This, I'm done. Do not quit on us. Oh my God. Do you want to go home? I don't know, chef. Yeah, it was overwhelming tonight, but I fought back. I have not given up. I still have a lot to give. I know I still have a lot to learn, and I'm willing, you know, to close my mouth and open my ears and do so, and I'm hoping I still have that chance. Paulie, why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? I have a, an amazing fight. I am strong in the kitchen. I think that you know that I'm not the weakest chef here. Listen, I've never made an excuse for a poor performance. I'll never tell you that it was somebody else's problem. And I, and I wow. will take a tone for my sins, but everything seems to be my fault tonight. Collectively, I was the unanimous decision. All the four of these girls have worked together. Obviously, I'm the odd man out. It, these girls it talk together, they to hang out together. Being the only I have not, had, on our I team have not had, you know, like that good is communication a with them. That's sure. bullshit fucking excuse, Polly. It's my turn to speak. Yeah, Every but you're time, lying. Yeah. I am not the only person that created a, this array in that kitchen. You're absolutely right. Everybody was shit. This is tough, but I do have my decision. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is Kimberly. Take off your jacket. I can't think of any other person in this competition that has grown as much as you. Thank you. But you're not ready to become the next head chef for Yaba. It's OK. I'm so thankful for the opportunity. Bye, Bye guys. guys. See you later. See you later, Kim. When I first came here, no one believed in me. I used one can of canned clams. I actually didn't even really believe in myself. One out of five. Oh, damn. But I've come a long way from my canned clams and my crappy pepperdell. Kimberly Lamb cooked beautifully. Thank you, chef. Good job, Kim. I showed that I can progress. Solid effort. Four out of five. Thanks, chef. Thank you. There's some people I totally hated and just wanted to punch. Well, don't fuck. come in and I already admit it, then I'll fuck that. And I'm gonna I don't need you to tell you. me. Don't you fucking dare throw that shit at me. Oh, shut the fuck up. You've had two you people. shut the you've fuck had, up. Hey. You fucking side. Don't hey. you sit the whole time. Yeah. But for the most part, it's been a positive experience that I will never, ever forget. <laughs> Here's your daughter, Apollonia, and your boyfriend, Rodimus. <laughs> at the end of the day, I can keep smiling and know I did my best. And even if it wasn't good enough, to me, it was. Relieved, Paulie? No, I'm not happy with my performance tonight. It was one of your worst performances yet. But you have been a fighter from the beginning to the very end. You have been on the ropes many times. But you've always bounced back. But not tonight. Give me your jacket. Thank you for the opportunity, Chef. Good night. Bye, Polly. I definitely think I've learned a lot. Chef Ramsey's got a strange method of teaching, but you know, I'm a little hard headed, so sometimes you need a kick in the ass. That is the worst bastardization of a ribeye. Was there anything redeeming about it at all? Yeah, the plate you served it on. What is it that you think that I really need to work on? How long have we got? I haven't got that time. Now fuck off in the kitchen. But I think that's because you saw potential. Paulie, it's a five. Congratulations. <laughs> it definitely made me better and hungrier to do well. It's going to spur me on even harder. The catfish is cooked fantastic. You did a really good job of letting the seafood be the star. Thank you, chef. Yeah, tastes delicious. Definitely had a lot of fun you know, just meeting some good people. This competition is something I'll never forget. This dream is over, but it's not how many times you get knocked down, it's how many times you get up. You got to come back and you got to come harder. All three of you know it was a very disappointing performance. After a night like tonight, 
there's something very important I need to talk to you all about. And trust me, I can't wait till tomorrow morning. You need to get started on your next challenge right now. Next time on Hell's Kitchen. Please do not take this personally. When the final three have a heart to heart. I'm concentrated on the yard bird and I don't see you running it. Okay. And Heidi goes on the attack. What you and Andrew did was not good. So just because like I liked him, it was a little bit more than liking. Will their bad blood spill over into dinner service? Heather, yes, let's go. Relax, Heidi. Will Chef Ramsay see through their pettiness? Heather, what the fuck are you doing? Uh, Heidi, this risotto's under. Under? Yes. Yeah, Taste under. It. Are you trying to sabotage her or not? And will it affect who makes the final two? It's a very difficult decision for me right now. I'm not laying down and I'm not going out like a bitch. Find out next time on a heart racing episode. The first person advancing is...